Hey guys, Troy Dooley, the Beachside CEO. I got a question for you. If you're running a direct selling network marketing company, probably your passion is to hire people that totally understand the community, totally understand what direct selling is about from compliance to sales techniques. Sadly, there's just not that many people out there, especially if it's below the C level. You're out there trying to hire customer service reps. You're out there trying to hire VIP reps to work with your team. You're trying to hire compliance folks, your accounting department, international expansion, all that good stuff. And that doesn't even count the marketing team that you need to try to find that can help you really penetrate and gain momentum inside the direct selling community. Well, those of us over at the Direct Selling Edge Conference sat around and we, we talked about it for a while and we realized we wanted to do something a little bit different this time around. So not only are we moving the location from Franklin, Tennessee, right outside of Nashville, to Newport Beach, California, but we are going to hone in and focus on helping employees of existing network marketing companies as well as startup companies to better understand what it takes to drive success inside of a network marketing company. Now, a lot of times people don't realize that there is a lot of stuff that goes on, a lot of stuff behind the scenes that sometimes people don't get. Let's take this one for instance. What makes a direct selling company different than other types of businesses? There's all kinds of marketing, distribution, sales channels out there, but network marketing is about people and you've got to understand how to weed through the emotional side to get those products out there to the end user. Something else that we thought about is what are the building blocks to putting together a good compensation plan? Matter of fact, I've got a client of mine, we're analyzing their compensation plan right now. And they, they wanna make sure that it's cutting edge for what works in the 21st century. Now there's only about five different compensation plans, but if you've got the wrong plan with the wrong message driving the wrong behavior, it can mess up your whole growth strategy that you have. You know, something else we want to cover is how do you comply with all the legal requirements that are out there now? Matter of fact, Kevin Thompson, co-founder of the Direct Selling Edge, has really been focusing in lately on looking at the regulatory spray, what's been happening, what's been going on, and he's here to help cover some of that. And I am excited about where it's going from there. What are the best practices used in social media effectively? So many times people just slam it in and here you are at the company you're trying to figure out what's going on and you look at what's out there and all of a sudden you freak out because you say, wow, that's way outside of compliance. What do we do? How do we build our brand and, and help our team and help us grow without screwing up on a regulatory side? We're going to be covering some of that. What do you do before you obtain or replace software? Think about this for a minute. Most company owners, especially if you're starting up, don't realize that's going to be one of your largest expenses out there. Well, I got to tell you, one of the other co-founders, Jay Lesner of, of the Direct Selling Edge Conference is really good at helping you weed through what it takes to create that spec doc, to create what you need. And you may be saying, gosh, Troy, this kind of sounds boring. Nothing will be boring. Your employees need to be at the Direct Selling Edge Conference, February 5th and 6th in Newport Beach, California. Some of the other stuff that we're going to cover is what about merchant services? Have you ever thought about that? I had a person call me the other day, said, Troy, we're starting up, we're excited, we've got our merchant service accounts. Less than two weeks later, he calls and says, Troy, the caps they put on us monthly, there's no way we can grow a network marketing business. Maybe not. We're gonna go through that. We go through the nuts and bolts that your employees may not even realize. Some of you may not realize. Here you are starting out a company, you're excited, but where does it take you in the 21st century? That's gonna be the key. One of the things that I truly love most of all is we're going to be able to help you and help your employees realize how do you how do you push through and create and drive the purpose that you're launching your company into your culture. So many times in direct selling and other companies out there, people have a passion. You're a founder. You've put your team together. You're excited about what the purpose, the mission is of your company, but yet it doesn't penetrate into your culture. We're going to talk to you about how to make that happen. There's so much more that we're going to cover, guys. If you're in a direct selling company right now as an employee, if you're the founder of the C-level executives, I challenge you to get your people to Newport Beach, California, February 5th and 6th. We're going to be at the Radisson out there. It's a couple miles from John Wayne Airport. You can go to directsellingedge.com. That's directsellingedge.com and find out more. And if you use the discount code... NASCAR hyphen rules. It gives you 25% off your ticket. 
Uh, it's an amazing time. It's an, it's an exciting time. And I tell you what, in 2015, we're seeing some great trends happen with some great companies. But we're also seeing a time of change. And if you're not leading a purpose-driven company, if you're not focused on the fundamentals of growing your direct selling business, if your employees, those team members in the office that's, that's given the foundation to your field force, if they don't know what's going on, it could spell disaster. You want to be there. Live life like it's an epic adventure. Stay dangerous, stay strong. And if you're in network marketing, act like it.